This is Ev from Beats and Music, and today we're going to be talking about staccato notes on the flute. So staccato notes are short notes, but they're not just short notes, they're notes that need to have a great sound and be really well supported to make a beautiful, fabulous sound. So we're going to start today by doing some long notes so we get used to having a really good sound. So we're going to start just holding a long D, a long uh, middle D. So we need to have great posture, bring standing up straight, knees a little bit bent, and just everything nice and well supported down here. Nice long D. Nice long D. Now, we're going to do some repeated Ds. So they're still going to be nice and long, but we're going to add the tongue in the middle as well, like this. So now, we're going to do the same thing, but really, really think about having a great sound by making sure everything here is nice and supported. We don't want to think, oh, I'm just playing some long notes, how boring. We want to think, I'm playing notes with life at the beginning of the note as well. So, now we're going to do the same kind of note, but we're going to do it a little bit shorter. So not faster, but instead of holding the note for a full pressure, we're going to do quaver, quaver rest, quaver, quaver rest, etc. like this. few times, take your time. Now with that, how are you thinking about stopping the note? Are you thinking about, ah, uh, just stop the air? Are you stopping it with the back of your tongue? Are you not really thinking about it at all? Do it again and see how you are stopping the note. I'll let you pause to do that. And so, a great way to do it is by stopping it with your tongue hitting the back of your um, of your mouth. So like da, da, da. It's a great way to stop the note when it's a little bit slower and you have the time to do it like this. We want to make sure that we have good life here and then we stop it. So instead of just going see how it gets a little bit saggy at the end of the note? It goes, it goes flat, doesn't sound as good. That's what stopping it with the back of the tongue does. If I stop it with the back of the tongue, really well supported sound throughout the whole note and then it ends nice and crisply. So let's do those repeat notes again and this time very definitely stop it with the back of with your tongue at the back of your mouth. It's really not the back it's just behind the teeth like where you tongue from. And now we're going to do those notes even shorter. So now we've been doing them quaver, quaver, rest. Now let's do them staccato quaver. So still stopping it with our tongue on, our, on the roof of our mouth um, and with lots of energy from down here as well. I'll let you pause, give that a try, make sure it sounds great. All right, now we're going to do that but faster. So we've now been doing staccato quaver, quaver rest. We're now going to do repeated staccato quavers like this. And repeat that a few times. Make sure every note is great and the notes don't start to crack. If it cracks, have another go, go back and, uh, and yeah, have another go. Let's make sure that we get a whole bar of four four. So eight quavers, staccato, no crack, sounding great. Uh, if you want to pause, let yourself do that. All right, so now that we've been able to do all of those um, staccato quavers on one note, now let's come back to our long notes and we're going to do it on a scale. So the scale we're going to do is B harmonic minor and the key signature of B harmonic minor is F sharp and C sharp and then don't forget the raised seventh of A sharp as well. 
So we're going to start by doing nice long notes. Make sure that we keep a beautiful sound on every note. We're going to come back to the staccato, but first we want to make sure every note sounds really, really good. So. going to do those that same scale but we're going to do the notes a little bit shorter so quaver quaver rest uh, like we were doing the repeated notes so with that scale we want to be very careful with our uh, D a little bit, that's really E and F sharp and maybe G as well, that they don't crack. We want to make sure that they have a really good sound. And then I... We want to make sure there's no extra note, we want to make sure it's... Make sure those are really good short as well. So I'll let you do that scale. Be really careful of all the notes, make sure they have a beautiful sound, stopping the note with the tongue on the roof of our mouth, but then also being particularly careful of those notes that they don't crack. I'll pause and let you, if you want to pause and uh, let yourself do that. Now, we're going to do the same scale, but staccato, quaver, quaver rest, so even shorter. remembering all of those things that we were doing before, nice and uh, stopping the note with our tongue on the roof of our mouth, nice and well supported from down here, make sure we're keeping our good posture and being careful of our, particularly our E and our F sharp, making sure they're nice and clean. All right, now let's try the scale twice as fast. So take a moment now, remember all of the notes in the correct order, um, so you're able to do it a little bit faster. But now we're going to do it faster uh, with the staccato quavers. So now of course, have a go yourself. Great, so now let's add this to something that we would use in, in a piece. So we're working on uh, Badaneri at the moment and if we take the first, like the quaver the first quaver of each beat um, in that opening, we have B. So B, F sharp, D, B. And then that last B is actually a bit longer, isn't it? Because it's a crotchet. We're not playing. It's going to have a little bit more life on it than that, isn't it? Have a go yourself. Make sure that those notes are nice and clean and staccato, remembering our good posture and also to stop that note with the back of uh, the roof of our mouth. Let's do it one more time. Now, keeping those staccatos, let's add the notes in between as well, so those semiquavers. keeping a great sound on each of those notes, making sure the notes don't crack, and also uh, that those uh, semi-quavers don't need to think so much about like, oh, keeping them as short as a demi semi quaver, but they still need to be nice and lifted uh, as well. So let's have a go of that. Uh, pause, give yourself the chance to do that. Great, now let's also go to, um, at the beginning of like after the repeat, it's a similar kind of thing, but we have some different notes, don't we? We have uh, F sharp, uh, what is it? F sharp, C sharp, A, and F sharp. So, the 
this is a little bit lower than we were doing the scale, um, that, that A just below, and then that, that the bottom F sharp is long, so not so, uh, not so important to keep that nice and short, but still make sure it has a really good sound as well. So, take the time now doing just that quaver of the first quaver of each crochet, so the F sharp, C sharp, A, and F sharp, making sure that they're staccato, really well supported with lots of life, and stopping that note, making sure it's staccato by stopping the note with our tongue at the back of our uh, the roof of our mouth. So, sorry. And also being careful of our F sharps that they don't crack. I'll give, uh, if you want to pause now to do that. Now we're going to like what we did before, add in uh, those semi quavers in between. So. are well supported, great sound, nice and staccato, and those semi-quavers also don't crack and have a fabulous sound. Uh, pause now and have a go of that. Great, so with all of those, um, that's applicable throughout the piece, but it's really, you know, those opening sections, we want to make sure they're nice and well supported and nice and staccato with those quavers in particular, because in rock music we want to make sure that those quavers are nice and lifted because um, they're, yeah, a little bit of a longer note. So, to recap, we have our staccato notes and we are uh, in, in that in the area, uh, but also whenever we play staccato notes, we want to have a great sound. That's the most important thing, making sure the sound is really good, the notes aren't cracking, making sure it's nice and focused into the flute. We can help ourselves by doing that by having great posture, so standing up nice and straight, making sure our knees are bent just a little bit, uh, not locked, just relaxed. Um, and also supporting ourselves uh, from uh, our stomach, like down here as well. Then we want to make sure the end of the note is great by uh, making sure we stop the note, our tongue on the roof of our mouth, similar to how we did the beginning of a note, but without the sound. So ta, 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 ta. And then practicing it nice and shorter as well. Ta, 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 ta. And then quicker. Ta, 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 ta. we get beautiful staccato notes uh, with all of the pieces that we do. Take that with you, um, have a go of those staccato notes, and yeah, enjoy practicing. See you next time.